All right, I feel I feel the love here. Ready? One, two, bam. Ooh, now that is something worth taking a. Okay. With that, I think we take a five minute break. I go refill my water, and we come back to an all for one floor zero run. I do want to get a filter to get at home. That's something I'm, I don't have it yet, but that's something that is a priority. Okay. Yeah, this is a really good path as well. We can get two elites, four campfires. Or we can go for four campfires, one elite, two shops. I like to go for elites, but only if I feel like my deck can handle it. So this is not bad. Four, one, four, two. It's a lot of hallway fights, but you know what that means? Potentially more claws and all for one. The thing is, I think claw and all for one does not bode well. Claw and awful, uh, one against the heart has yet to be something. I don't know if I, I'm not sure if I won with the claw deck against the heart. It's been a while. There's so many hallway fights, it feels horrible. I don't take so much damage, and by the time I'm done with the hallway fights, I have to fight an elite. And God forbid we don't get anything from these. But I mean, I guess it's good to get card selection because we do have all for ones. We're gonna flesh it out. All right, I do want to get some water. Give me one second. All right, we're back. How long was that? I didn't. I tried to be quick. I don't know how long it was. What's up, Ventus? How you doing, man? What would be an interesting potion and a way to balance Wally plants? Okay. Here's what you need to know. We got all for one floor zero and we got claw on floor one. Are we committing? Are we committing here? You're completely exhausted by today? Why? What happens? All right, hard commit, guys. I can't promise this will win, but I promise we'll have a good time. And sometimes that's half the battle. Oh, I forgot that. Get burnout from today and last week. We don't talk about that. Let's talk about that. Hologram all for one. Okay, if there's ever a way to make all for one actually heart killable, it's with hologram Snekawai. Now, if we get Snekawai hologram all for one, go infinite. This is how you get kill the heart with all for one. With that in mind, do we take Hologram for the potential Snekowai heart consideration, or we just take a better card, which is Ball Lightning? You know what I mean? Goontag, what's up, Dread Drug? Reloading, you're just saying no? Goontag. Damn it. I didn't let you guys answer. I know, because I it's a rhetorical question. So Steam Barrier Offer One is cool and all, but Demon Globe is good AOE and the dark. Wait, I gotta be careful. Wait, I, I really gotta be careful here. I can't do this elite, can I? Should I change the path and go this way? And only do one elite this round? Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We could do this, and then we get less relics. Get less relics, but right now we want to craft a deck. Hmm. Well, no, because right here, the decision relies on right this path right here, because we get four campfires, two elites, and a mid shop. All right, I'm committing. I'm not scared, I'm not scared. I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared. <laughs> All for one snick away, and uh, I'm gonna skip here. I think I have too much offense. I love barrage and stuff like that, but offense is plenty. Okay, recursion with upgraded with All for one is something to consider because we have dark orb. Recursion all for one dark orb. 
Still probably not worth it. You killed the heart with... Hologram off on rebound to Madness Glacier? Oh hell yes. That's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. God, we're taking so much damage. This first elite has to be easy, otherwise... Otherwise we're screwed. Give me a good potion. That's not bad. Oh, seek. Seek, 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 seek. Okay. We have cultist potion. We'll use this for this elite just to survive. Now, we really want to get the all for one juice here. So, for me, I'm thinking Zapper Dual Cast Upgrade. White Nose is very strong, but Seek is run defining in the sense that you can set up incredible, incredible combos. Bias, Cognition, Core Surge, um, get your Echo Form out ASAP, uh, do Madness things. Madness all for one shenanigans. So, Seek is just incredible. But. Zapdokas upgrades need to happen. Can I survive Gremlin Knob with 29 HP in a cultist pot? I think with dual cast upgrade we probably could. It's risky. But dual cast upgrade, I think we can handle Gremlin Knob. Time to put myself my money where my mouth is. I didn't think about the other ones. This one's not bad though because. I can just buy time here, and I can get a free, I can get a free claw, stack. Ideally, you want to get Doom and Gloom going, but you also want to just let the cultist do its thing. Doing a free claw stack is not like, do I even waste Seek here? Like getting the dark is really nice as well. Hmm. And now I can't do the lightning. Are we just waking him up though? Or are we trying to milk? Are we trying to milk how much we get out of this? Because we could do zap, dual cast, strike. And the next turn we have all for one dual cast defend with another claw. That's some decent damage. I mean, that goes good for the bones. You can also just milk, get more strength. Let's just milk it, get more strength. Let's be patient. Despite how good that really was. Okay, this is not bad. This is not bad at all. So I feel inclined to do strike because of the damage of my strength, but I mean, I feel I want to do zap as a dual cast, but oh fuck me. We don't have enough. Okay, we'll just get a rest and this is fine. Dark Orb is just better here. We get we get six less damage, but we get a Dark Orb. And that feels nice. Okay. So we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Let us go ahead and Vajra, I like it. Stack double energy. Double energy is seek is pretty nice. You could do some seek double energy shenanigans. I'm trying to think what would be the best case scenario of this. Like let's say you just have a high cost thing you want to play and you, you play double energy and then seek. I mean and then whatever the high cost thing is. But uh still kind of not that great of a card right now. Keep the deck small. We survived, which is important. So now we just rest. Get our relic with the rest. It's like, it's like we dug. Treat this as if we dug and got a card as well. Who are we fighting against? Hmm. I think we have good split potential against him. Double energy is not bad. It's a dead draw most of the time. It, gets, it comes better in Act 2 if you have an energy relic. Maybe we skip in here. Let's rest. Maybe I should have rested after this relic because you never. This, Oh, ice cream. Now double energy is like... Um, excuse me, sir. You missed me. So Gremlin with 25 HP, I think is doable. Because we have Ancient Pot for his vulnerable. And we have decent damage with the Lightning and the Vajra. 
So I do think that is doable. Now, Ice Cream changes the nature of this game drastically because we have Seek. So we can Seek and do energy shenanigans, or we could take this energy and try to get a really draw heavy deck and do stuff like that. We'll figure it out. I do probably take damage from hallway, yeah. If I take damage from hallway, then this fight's even harder. But we also do have a shop right before it. You know? But 25 HP is a little low. I mean, I'm being overly cautious, perhaps. So what's a really good for this fight? Probably Doom and Gloom, right? We do have all for one. Which we can bring back and kill both of these things. But then we take some damage. Nah, I think it's actually the best right here. Oh, uh, we don't actually kill both of those things. I lied. I lied about that. I lied, I lied, I lied. That was my bad. There's a chance we kill both of them if I get lucky. But I was a dirty liar. I was a dirty liar there. Oopsies. Is it ever worth it to just do dexterity pot? If it's triple century, you want to have dexterity pot. Probably not, we don't really care. Right. This might save us some juicy life. Damn, we didn't hit the guy in the back. That sucks. I go for the risk and see if I hit this guy. It's better. Because right now I'm taking 9, right? If I kill one of them, 50% chance I take only 7. Eh. So I didn't play this very well, I'll be honest. Early genetic is very good. Can we afford to take genetic right now? Our deck feels like it needs leap because we're not blocking enough. This is a great card. It almost feels... Well, with the shop, I feel like the Elite is probably doable anyways. The shop should make the Elite free. That's a Defrag. That's a Sunder. Sunder's very good. Pendant is very good as well. Sundial is pretty good too, damn. I'm a really big fan of Sling of Courage. I can't get both though, right? I do want the Defrag. I can't get pen and the courage. Okay. Do I just take Sunder here? Or do I remove a strike? Keep the deck small. How could I defrag anyways, anyways? Anyways, anyways, anyways. We don't have frost. I guess it gives the dark more scaling and the lightning more damage. I feel like it's always a must pick, but in this situation with all for one being our damage with Vajra. Ribbon Tear is very good right now. I have a lot of videos to up, uh, up to edit and upload to YouTube, so I should be getting to YouTube soon within this week. Because I've, I've, now that I've been streaming more, I got more videos and stuff. Ribbon Tear is just 16 damage straight up. That seems hard to pass up. I would have. I mean, I would have liked. Like, making my deck too fat, I also make the. Hmm. I forgot to take into account that I'm fighting this elite. I forgot to mention that. Try reprogram. Hmm. Does that probably does more damage in the long run? Now we're going against... We're just doing this now, aren't we? We're just dual casting now. Gonna leave next turn. Biased. Okay, bias of Seek is really good. 
Now we're seeing Core Surge and we have a really big combo. Nineteen damage is almost too much. I'm a little bit worried about it. I won't rose. What? No, they're fine. Open, keep the roll because it helps with the echo. It's fine. Nineteen damage. Well, hold on. The frail sucks, but we have rip and tear and strike. And tear and strike. Is that the best I could do right now? What's the best damage I can do? Rip and tear and strike is the best, right? I can only do seek one thing, right? Split right now, if I do that, is 16, 23, 29. It's not bad. I'll leave him with 16 HP. 16 HP is doable. It depends on the draw that I get. I'm leaving myself with a very, I don't know, the draw is not that great though. Bice does a lot of laning and then I draw into Rip and Tear anyways, right? Because Bice means I draw into Rip and Tear anyways. Potentially. But I can also just do Bice. I can, wait, I can also just do Bice after the fact. Like same, same situation, I can do Bice here as well. That's awkward. Fuck, I'm taking so much damage this run. I don't know about this. Okay, is there a world in which we just do not rest here? And we try to make their... We are confident with our... Our deck and our split potential. Are we ever upgrading Defrag or Zap? Like, Zap for all for one, Defrag for more focus. Or is Seek better? Because Seek... What's the best case scenario for this fight? Best case scenario is getting some darkness shenanigans. I don't think we have good damage. I don't know if Defrag is the best upgrade right now. It might be Zap because of all for one, and Zap helps us dictate darkness getting procced, right? I do think Zap is probably the better upgrade here. And going into Act 2, do we care about Zap being upgraded? I mean, it's kind of low impact compared to the other things we can do, like Defrag Biased. But with All for One, it helps the darkness come alive, so I th think we upgrade Zap. That's my final answer. Alright, 6 HP in a dream. 6 HP in a dream. So we can seek now and do things like darkness right away, get it its most scaling. Or we can defrag, get it out of the way, get more, get more focus. I think the dark scaling is the most important thing. Mm. I think bias and defrag is the most important thing as well. And now we have all for one dual cast as a as a play. So now we have all for one dual cast as a play. And I think instead of Strike, we like Glacier better, right? But Strike does make the split really easy, to be fair. And now we just do Genetic Algorithm and hope Riven Tear doesn't fuck us up. Just guaranteed lethal. Smoke him. And that's what 6 HP means in that fight. Okay. 
Now we can relax. <clears throat> All for one number two, rainbow or fission? Fission's really good if I upgrade it. A really good card if I upgrade it. And it can help get the darkness out. It can also help me find the combo later on if I if I do get core surge, bias core surge helps me find seek to get bias core surge. Because right now we have bias and we have seek. All we need is core surge, and that trifecta is very powerful. And fission can help enable that. Find one of the pieces. Or also just be a really good tempo turn. So double up for one is kind of a meme. I do think that we Sneko, okay, so this is what I was talking about. Sneko I hologram all for one. This is how you take all for one decks and take it to the next level because Sneko I is very strong in the defects. The only problem here is I've upgraded cards specifically for their costs. I've upgraded Zap and Dual Cast to make them low cost. And now we have Claw, Seek, Dual Cast, Zap. Which feels awkward. And Fission, zero cost, right? But Snekowai, where it benefits here. So if I knew if it was Snekowai, I would take the second all for one, 100%. I wouldn't take Fission, I would take the second all for one. It's very powerful because you can do things like. You can pull more than just these cards. You can pull anything that is zero cost. And if Hologram happens to become free, then you have infinite. Hey, peace out, SLG. The alternative is to make a small little deck. Get rid of the two strikes and have a small little all-for-one deck. I'm worried about... I guess we have ice cream for energy, right? So we remove two cards. I'm worried about Snake Y, so I think I'm not going to do it. As good as it is on the defects, I'm going to remove two cards. I'm a small little all-for-one deck with ice cream. We just gotta find ways to make energy. Okay. I think we can do the sparkle right now. Deck's not bad. We wanna find the shop because we wanna find core surge, right? So I think the shop is also a priority. We get one less elite though. And a lot of hallway fights in the end. It's kinda of bad. I kind of want to get the whole fits out of the way and then elites at the end. Alright, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do the elites. Put the, the deck to the test. Ice cream helps. All for one here is like, eh. I want to get genetic played, but I also want to save energy. I like the new character. So we have bias now. God damn it. Region pot. Okay, hologram. So getting the curse gives me max HP. Is that ever worth it? We get to keep our life. We have a curse. Uh, the case not the worst is blockable, you know? Okay, is blockable. It's not the worst. Should we be biasing now? Eh. That was probably a good time to use Artif- I made me rat right now is region time. I think we do zap. You want to be more aggressive here.
think we want to be really aggressive here, so we want to do... I think that's exactly what we want to do. I think we want to try to heal as much as possible. I'm missing some of the healing, which is a little bit eh. But it is what it is. Double energy. Double energy is now something with ice cream. We can talk about that. So we get a curse and we get more max HP. Alright, so we got dead branch. Okay, that's something. That is something. Dead branch is not bad. I think fission upgrade is really good. I think hologram upgrade is also very good. Also, we can keep hologram on upgrade so that it exhausts. We can do that intentionally. I'm not sure if that's what we want to do. Nah, because the lightning happens at the end of the turn. No, it happens in a, a way where it doesn't let you heal. Like, lightning happens before the heal. That's what I mean to say. Double energy. Wow, wow, wow. What's up, Flayden? I guess I could have went for lethal. How much do I have there? Not enough. I should blessing the forge was probably a better play. It's kind of unfortunate because I'm wasting buffer. Ugh. I should have done that was a good blessing of the forge because blessing of the forge prevents 17 damage. Just think about that. 17 damage. Ah, 17 damage is a lot, man. Colorless versus, I mean, I could have done that with bias. That's not bad. Ag so wait, is aggregate double energy how we're getting our energy this run? Nah, we, we had ironclad, we won the ironclad run. We have seek, so we have seek, aggregate, double energy. Is that how we're getting our ice cream stacked up? Or is it kind of a meme? Leap? It's a good block. I kind of regret that I wasted my artifact, which I could have done for bias in this fight. I'm a little bit worried now. Because I don't really have good AoE. And I'm fighting two leads back to back, so I probably should have rested. Hmm. I hope me not getting, getting rid of the artifact doesn't affect me. I have to rest here and use Blessing. Lantern is really good with double energy. It can go a long way. Um, I want to see what this is. We have Enlightenment versus Madness. So we upgrade Enlightenment, we can make all for one and Doom and Gloom permanently zero. But Dark Shackles is very good for the re later on in this fight. We can also do Madness and make Doom and Gloom free, in which case, Alpha for One brings it back later on. A couple of things. Enlightening Plus makes Doom and Gloom and Alpha for One cheaper. Madness makes Doom and Gloom free. So when we do Alpha for One, we can do Doom and Gloom more often. Is that more important than doing... Dark Shackles could save me. I think we do Madness stuff. And we make Doom and Gloom free. Are you kidding me? I forgot about Dead Branch here. Um. Fuck. Fuck. 
Get exhaust ride. I'm trying to think about my blessing here so I can guarantee Demon Gloom make it free. Do I care about Demon Gloom being free or do I just save this for another? I think we just save that. Okay, that could be worse. I definitely, I could have done blessing and I could have made that a little bit better. Could have made it better, but it's okay. We'll save the blessing for something better. What is the better blessing? This prevents a wound. If I upgrade these, that's not the upgrade we're looking for. Is this the upgrade we're looking for? Uh, we have double energy. Auto is the worst case scenario. I could have made all for one free. I also could have made Doom and Gloom if I did Blessing, but this is probably the the upgrade we're looking for. I don't necessarily want. So do I do do I do Fission Double Energy here? What do we do with all this energy? That's the question. We need to start doing damage, right? I can keep that for another time. We still want Frost 100%, but what's the best way for us to do damage? All for one claw stuff? So what are we seeking? We can seek and get the darkness to start getting that going. That might be our best source of damage. And then maybe we offer one, get dual cast going. Electrodynamics for the win. Style on him. Make him beg for mercy. Make him say uncle. Easy. So we got auto shows and white noise. AFK Tron, how you doing, buddy? Auto shows plus is a good block, but god damn, the deck is getting boot, uh, bloated. Hmm. White noise is so good. We get a power. We get a power and we get that branch. White noise is so good. Uh, I want to do this. If I get Necronomicon, I don't know if I actually... Okay. This is fine. This is fine. These curses are a little bit monk s I'll be honest. Okay, but... Okay, okay. So survive this. This is fine. Okay, that, that sucks a little bit. I'll be honest. We've got potential for crazy double energy turn. Do we want more card draw or do we want to... This is tough. I'm not going to need all that energy, but I could do Glacier and then I could do Fission and get more card draw and more energy and more... Maybe that's the play. But I want to keep the Frost. But we do have two Glaciers. So let's do this. Mm-hmm. Now this is not bad. Fusion's not bad. Alright, we'll just chill right there. Tempest is pretty good here, I would say. Because we have a lot of energy. Am I dumping everything with Tempest? We do bias first, right? Styling on the enemies. 
Styling on the enemies. Another genetic. That doesn't stick there with me. That would be cool if it does, but it doesn't. Alright. So the only reason we're low on life is because we took that event, which for no rise. And now we're getting out for the second claw. After all is said and done, we're like, okay, claw number two, if they're all for one. Do you want to bite? I'm not sure, because Dead Branch now is creating different opportunities. And the smaller the deck is, the more soon I'm getting like Fission, Double Energy, Seek stuff. And also, if the deck is small, if we do get Core Surge, Bias Cognition, Seek is still really important. But we already have one Claw, but I feel like our deck is getting out of Claw. And it's more interested in the Bias, Double, Core Surge, Seek, Dead Branch shenanigans. The Claw is just a, uh, a side effect. In fact, Awful One probably cares more about bringing back Dual Cast and Zap than it does about Claw. That's just the truth of it. Uh, fission could be good sometimes, but fuck it, we're taking Claw because that's what Chat wants to see. I should probably have saved energy there, honestly. Let's recycle. Recycle could be good. I might want Recycle unironically in my deck. Double energy is quite nice. Recycle and Dead Branch is so nice. Alright, so there is a play here. I do want to get genetic out. Maybe this is the genetic turn, despite the fact that I am vulnerable. This is probably genetic turn. But then there's things like double energy. Wait, what if we do fission? Wait, hear, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. I think fission is just the best right here. We do biased. White noise, heat sinks, fission, get genetic out, and then go for the win. Right? That's almost exact lethal. This is exact lethal. Beautiful. Okay, now we're getting offered Aggregate with Ice Cream. And the deck's getting fat. But Aggregate is not as good as Recycle in this deck. Alright, I gotta use the bathroom. I have so much gold. Alright, so we have to spend this gold. This is gonna hurt. Fission versus Hologram. Well, Fission is good because of the exhaust and the energy. Hologram... I think Fission. I'll be right back. Okay. This sucks. Uh. Ooh, more biased and more seek. Both very nice. Me likey, me likey, me likey. Seek is probably better, to be honest. Ooh, is this the turn? Mama, there goes that man. Fission me up, baby. Fission me up, daddy. Wait, I didn't even do that. Oh, God. Way to ruin all of your energy. Melter saves the day. Melter saves the day. No, it's not even that. Wait, did we play genetic yet? We haven't played genetic. Okay. Don't do damage here. Oh, I already have lethal. Ah, uh, I did too much damage. Seek number two. Oh, boy. Okay. We're probably going to do rats after this. Because if we get to the heart on this one, that's two heart kills. That's probably enough for three hours, three and a half something. Slay that spider stream. And that's me saying I'm going to get the heart kill, right? So... Heart or bust. Without the genetic, maybe maybe not, I don't know. I didn't get genetic that last fight, so maybe we don't get it. Seek number two is really good though. And I think against the autumn maiden, we have enough block. Well, not necessarily. Not necessarily. We have bias, but that's diminishing. What is the best upgrade? I think defrag is probably the best upgrade or 
hologram to get more consistency. Seek upgrade is also very good. I'm depending on genetics so much. Do I, do I feel like I need to rest here? We have no rise to give us more stuff. Do we think that if we upgrade defrag? Frost is going to take care of it. We have no rise. We have no weaken. Keep that in mind. We have no source of weaken. And we do not have artifacts for bias, so... Hmm, I guess we can get lucky with Dead Branch and see what that comes. 37 HP. If I get one bad draw, it's game over. On the other hand, upgrading is really important, I would think, for Act 3 and Act 4 for me. Like, I definitely want the Seeks upgraded for the future. And even biased. Alright, so we're gonna... Uh, if, guys, if I lose, wait, fuck. Should I rest? Where's no rise defrag enough? We don't have echo form, right? We don't have echo form, we don't have artifacts. I don't have anything that's like assuring me that we're gonna be okay. If I did have echo form, I wouldn't hesitate. If I had core search, I wouldn't hesitate. Um, do I have enough block? Can I block 40 on average? If I keep resting, I'm not gonna have enough upgrades for the, for the you know. Okay, here's actually what I'm hoping for. Since I have seek, Two seeks to be exact, and I have a very little upgrades. We're gonna we're gonna high roll into apotheosis in one of these shops because we have a lot of gold, right? And we have meal tickets, so we want to prioritize shops. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna high roll into apotheosis because I'm not hundred percent sure. Oh, electrodynamics is very good. I don't want to take damage, but I also want to get energy. Core Surge, okay. Okay, we high rolled. So, with no rise in Dead Branch, okay, I just, I, now that I, now, it's a little bit like, easier to say now that it's already happened. But what I was gonna mention was that, oh, we also have buffer, okay. With no rise and Dead Branch, it's pretty easy to get things like buffer, to get things like the block you need. So maybe, I made a mistake, 100%. And I should have had rested, but that's for another day. It's double energy here. And now look how much we have. We have Core Charge in the deck and we have Bias Cognition. Can I just say for a moment? Can I just say for a moment what? Like, look at this. And here I am resting. I greatly underestimated. I really underestimated the, the power. And I'm very sorry. Well. Recycle. More glitches not bad though. We program. Keep the frost here. Echo form. Yeah, I really underestimated this damn. So we're still gonna get hot this anyways. That's my I could try to double this with echo form. That is something I could do. We have buffer, so we're totally fine here. I can also keep the buffer. Is that a consideration to keep the buffer? Eh, too late now. Uh, so this is good.
That means next turn doesn't be super powerful, right? Should we dual cast now? Yes, yeah, so last was a mistake. Oopsies. Three seeks. This is a three seek deck. I mean, yes, because we have. Now he's got to find core search. You can no longer rest. I have Neil ticket, so that might be really good. I might be really good with Neil ticket. Could also backfire. That could also really backfire. Let's hit shops because we need core search. So, one shop, that's it. That's, that's all we got. One shop here, really? All right, let's hit that shop. I don't have Electro in the deck, so this is a little bit worse. Oh, I lied, I have Electro in the deck. Isn't it funny when you want Electro and Core Surge, you get both those things? It's crazy. I'm getting really good high rolls with these Death Rich No Rise. I get this played. It's crazy high rolls. Fourteen. I have to do double energy shenanigans, whoopsies. Don't we have lethal though? Did I miss something in this fight? Was I supposed to get something more? No, right? It's actually powerful. Deck is really powerful, but it's off the back of high rolls, so it's it's not always gonna be that strong. Reforged body is nice in a pinch, but it dumps all my energy. Do we care? I feel like it's a really good block, but it's also really bad with ice cream. On the other hand, we also get four energy turns, so we can refill up pretty easily. I'm just wondering if I take something like reinforced body just in case I need the block. I think I'm more rather just focus on Frost. But it is really good in a pinch. Think of it as like a panic button. That bloats your deck. Are we fighting this, right? Now... Yeah, I did. We, we, beat, the, we beat the heart with the Ironclad. We, we, over, over, we, we overthought it and it was pretty easy. Um, my deck's kind of slow and it's been really depending on high rolls. I actually think we can't do this fight. Because I, I could just not get the right things. On the other hand, I do have Seek and I have... Fission, Double Energy. Genetic is pretty scaled up. I don't know. I might lose here. I might lose here. I, I, I have a feeling this is not going to be good, but... So what are we seeking? What if we do the fission stuff now? Like fission, double energy... Right now. Well, we really want to find white noise because we want to get electro. What's the best case scenario right now? Um, genetics not bad. We program. I go 
form is pretty good. I would argue that Echo form is pretty good here. Core Surge is very good here. That means we can play double biased. We can play double biased right now. In fact, we can do biased. We can do biased Core Surge right now. And we just need to find block. Holy shit. It might be better to do uh, double energy and fission. Right? So that I draw into hologram and core surge. Because look, right now, I can pull up core surge and a hologram and get biased core surge played. But the energy is a problem. So I think we do double energy and fission right now. We have basically what it takes to win, which is Corsair's bias combo. That's, that's enough to win. Problem is we don't have Frost, it's in the graveyard, and we need, I think we need to get, see more things. So I'm gonna do this. Electric Dynamics is huge. Ah, uh, you would like to do Electro first, right? So Fission gives me more double energy, but you probably want to do Electro after we have focus. Uh, this is tough to say. That's not really good. That's really nice. Oh. Tempest into Fission. That's eight to everybody. I've got 10 energy. Did I not play my genetic yet? Or did I did. I did play it. Hell, Tungsten Rod. Yes. Yes. All right, this is... This is going places. This is going places. Okay. Core snap compile or recursion. Compile is pretty good to get some card draw. Uh, but I like the way the deck's operating right now. I think we don't add anything and we let the no rise to the rest. We really want to hit the shop here. I'm still kind of up in the air about what I'm trying to seek more often than not. Like maybe there's double energy right away. And we're getting echo form, Jesus Christ. We are such a high roller, it's disgusting. We are such high rollers. My last watcher run did beat the heart. My last two ironclad beat the heart. Yes. These are things that have happened. Uh oh. Um, this is more damage, right? Well, let me see. This is 32 plus 12 is 44 plus 9 53. Lethal. Did I did not play genetic. I didn't play genetic. I gotta make it a. a, 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 a Mental notes like play genetic every single time. Scaling is important. The, I like the weekend, but that's not the weekend I'm looking for. Yeah, I got a lot of money right now. I think power is better than explosive, right? Alright, we really need to hit the shop. Jesus. This is just a terrible turn. What is this? I'm gonna just do the region now. What kind of turn was that? Just so. Sometimes you get good turns and sometimes you get shit turns and that's a shit turn. All right, we got double energy. Okay. Now, what are we seeking? I'm definitely not playing reinforced body now. We're playing genetic. We, we made a mention just now to play genetic. Get it out of the way. I 
Should have played heat sinks first, right? Could probably just do defrag and call it. Because we take no damage with defrag. I think bias right now is a little premature, no? Core Surge. Okay, we keep getting Core Surge. This is nuts, man. It started off as a Cloud Deck, but then it ended up changing. Oh, I actually... Oopsies. Okay, I really want to find... We have time here. Do we care about uh, just getting this right here instead of doing biased? We have so much energy. I need, now I kind of need Tempest for, as a finisher. Your program is not bad because it, ooh, it's a little slow though. Yeah, I, I can't really call this a claw deck to be honest. But there is claws. We're looking for seek, right? Got it. Ah, oh, but now we don't get bias, but bias is over here, so this is free. Do that first, and now we just go for the kill. Yes, sir, we do. This is a good run, guys. We played Janek already, yeah? When it all matters, oh, we got recycled with Dead Branch. All right, guys, this is a good run. We get a nice heal here. I remember how I said I need to get Apotheosis because we have we have so many Seeks. Apotheosis is like super big. I still want to find that, of course. But right now we have Master Strategy, which is very good. Um, we have Multicast, and there are times where I get so much energy, Multicast would be huge. So I wonder if we buy the multicast. Because Tempest is also a finisher, but multicast could be just as much. Every other time it will clog my deck. Nothing to flame here. Bottle what? Nothing to bottle flame here. Master Strategy I'm going to buy. I wonder if we start moving, like, I start removing things like the Rise 100%. Like we just remove that out of the deck. I know there's an event that gets rid of that, but nah. So I think we just take the multicast in the event that we utilize the energy and dump it. Every other time, it's just a dead card. Wait, isn't medical kit actually really good? Yo, grats, man. Grats killing the heart kebab. Medical kit gives us dead branch, and we also get rid of all of the statuses, like the burns from the Act 4 Elite, the wounds and burns and slimes, no, wounds and burns from the heart. Medical kit might just be just a nifty thing because of Dead Branch and the, some of the threats we have coming up. There's also some statuses in the Reptomancer fight. I, I want to save the rest of my money because I really want to get Core Surge. Core Surge is such an important part right now of the deck. I think Multicast, we just noticed last turn, last fight, how we have all this energy, we can't dump it. So like, Moldycast does seem really useful, but I don't like how expensive it was, and I also don't like how it did a lot of the other times. But alas, we played it. I want to see what this hits first. Let's just play this, get it out of the way. Okay, we got Seek. So we could Seek... Recycle, and then Recycle the, the Defend, or... We can get out the Defrag. 
White Noise is really good as well because White Noise gives us a chance at Electrodynamics, which is really important for this fight. I think it kind of this play is kind of cute. It's a cute play. I wonder if... Oh, we got more all for once. Okay. I wonder if we use Power Potion for this fight. We got double energy, so we could seek something like... Just a double energy straight up, honestly. Got Core Surge. Wow, wow, wow. So, we really want to find Electrodynamics. In the event that we don't, we really want to seek out Hologram and just do dual... Uh, Let's draw. Maybe we can find Hologram easy. So now we want to seek out Bias Cognition. And then we want to bring out the the Doom Gloom back. What else can we do here? We have so many options. We can bring back the recycle here. So get rid of things like when you recycle reinforced body, you get double energy, right? I like how it gives me double energy, but I also like this in a pinch. I should probably have seeked out the glacier. We don't even have deep frag out. Double glacier. I wanted to recycle again. That's not really the play. Alright, we had no energy, but we can make energy back pretty easily. I know I was on the top of the map, yep, that's, that's, why I'm, that's why I took that path. Took off for one shenanigans. Full block. Tempest is nice. Tempest gives us a nice X cost. This is GG. We are strong, my friends. Cool headed is very nice. And we got Mashioshka. Alright, finally we get an upgrade. Holy shit, man. We are strong. I think we want to upgrade. Like Defrag Plus, I'm playing it. Seek Plus. Oh man, I'm stricken with indecision. There's so many good choices. Uh, this guy's a little bit difficult. I think he's probably one of the harder ones for me. I think creative I just kills this guy outright though. I don't like how I have to waste my... I'm, I'm gonna take the damage here. And actually, he's not that hard for me. He's not that hard for me. I, I lied. He's not hard for me at all actually. I lied, I lied, I lied. We get claws and be really good here. All right, let's get rid of things like recycle. I mean decay. All right, let's start doing some work. Let's play the defrag. Let's do things like play the loop. Mm, let's bring back the recycle. Get rid of some of these things. 
like defend Let's play these powers we're gonna do some claw stuff right now all right hold on to your seat belts guys because we're about to do some claw stuff We have, he's taking a lot more damage right now, but how significant is that really? Hmm. You want to find all for one here. What's the best way to do this? I don't even have space for all this all for one crap. Multicast just carries. Jesus Christ, let's get dark going and then. And here I thought this was gonna be a hard fight. This is the, still the same run, yeah. This run is nuts. Lore. Oh my lord. I don't even care about. Double my energy here. Really nuts run, guys. I don't know what to tell you. 23 damage is not bad. I'll take it. This is just insanity. I want to put my claws. This is going to win. Be a little bit careful. Is that a buffer here? I actually meant to play. Jeez. Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start uploading again. I know I'm doing. I took a big hiatus in general. How you doing, buddy? Uh, okay, reinforced body plus is not bad in a pinch. It also I can just recycle it and double my energy. But I'm also getting to a point where I don't really need this stuff. Like meteor strike, I can recycle for energy. That's kind of that's uh, gimmicky. I can also play meteor strike sometimes with double energy. Is there ever a world in which I'm just playing Meteor Strike to get the triplets of energy? Probably not. I think we're okay with energy. Uh, Reinforced Body is pretty good block, but um, yeah, I don't know. I think we just keep the deck the way it is. We're doing we're doing totally fine, you know. So I'm gonna hit that shop. So we don't care about question card. Get the Sapphire. Got a hologram upgrade, which sometimes hurts me because I like the fact that. Sometimes I like that sometimes we get um hologram exhausted for dead branch.
I want to get block here. Did I play genetic already? I did, right? It's like a medical kit is just icing on the cake. I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. Yeah, I, I've been I've been consistently back on it, so I've been, I've been back on the, the horse here. Okay, defect plus reinforced body plus. Well, geez. I guess I can take the defect plus. I don't even think we need it, to be honest. Let's start upgrading the seeks here. Okay, we can upgrade a card. We can remove a card and upgrade a card. If I remove a card, I, I re remove the strike, yeah? But I kind of want to save money. I kind of want to save money for the shop. Because we want to find core surge. I think core surge is just huge here. Kind of just thumping around for Thanksgiving break. It's good to see you play. Uh, something you've been to get into. Yeah, I guess it's a great game. I'm not even keeping track of what Thanksgiving it is. It should be coming around the corner. Is it? Like within a couple days here. Let me see. Thanksgiving is on. The 28th. Nice yeah, in three days. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, this is pretty good value. We get to remove a strike and upgrade. But I want to see what the shop has to offer here. We didn't get... We got Panacea, though. That's, that's like Core Surge, but on steroids. So we win. And we can remove anyways, because we can remove the strike. And this would have been a crazy Prismatic Shroud run. This run has got everything, but Panacea is the play. Now we have bias cognition. We have not. We have some for bias cognition and some left over if we want to for the heart, which is very powerful. And I could even I could even remove the last strike, which is probably really good, or remove the decay. Actually, why don't we remove the decay? There is a world in which keeping decay sometimes is nah. It depends. No, it's not useful here. It is not useful here. There's also maybe a world where cool headed is better. Now nah, the mecha doesn't touch DK, right? So we don't have if we have blue candle, then decay is fine. But we don't, so we get rid of decay. Because mecha does not touch that. We could also save our money for the next shop. Like our deck is doing so well and we have so much card draw, I could probably just save this money for the act four shop and try to get another relic. But either way, this is really streamlined and this deck is out of control. The only thing we need is electrodynamics. That's probably the only thing I really want right now. I take no damage here. We have many options to do it. With no rise and dead branch, we have options to. Okay, so now we want to do seek. Now this is when things get interesting. So you want to get panacea. We want to get the bias out, right? But now they're doing a lot of damage, so we want to get a genetic. So panacea genetic, right? We'll start with that. We do recycle here. Double energy. Okay, so now we got defrag, fantasy biased, got genetic out, and now we're looking at a uh, full block, crazy amount of damage. I could just do tempest and call it a day, to be honest. And that's exactly what we'll do. If we wanted to, we can do a little bit of uh, fission, rub it in, keep the turn going, and that's exactly what we'll do. So we could do things like Cold Snap for more Frost, or we can let the deck be exactly as it is because the deck is super powerful. The Wandering Magician, what's up, man? Welcome from YouTube. Cold Snap Plus is quite nice because we love Frost, but we also just don't need it, right? I never have had a deck this strong, and I'm, every single time I'm like, mm, do we want something more? The answer should just be no. 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 I mean, but to be fair, though, more frost is always nice. Uh, it's, it's, keep the deck small because we, we we have a lot of things we want to draw into. But we have three seeks. We have three seeks unironically. 
You know, we got seek. There we go. Yeah, we're starting. So we can seek the upgraded seek, and then we can do core search. We can do panacea bias right now and get it out of the way. Right? That's a start. I feel like that's a start. We can recycle things like doom and gloom because I don't think we really care about that. I mean, dark it is one of my only darkness, but now we can do things like genetic as well because we already have core surge. So we have the bias, we have core surge. We can maybe do defrag to get more focus, or we can just get glacier so we actually have something to do. Is glacier better than genetic? Probably because we don't want to waste genetic just yet. So now we do this bias. And then get this out. And of course that is dark, but I might, this might be me playing 12 cards a turn here. So 24. I'll leave it at that, but then there's also recycle shenanigans, right? So I could leave it at this or I could do recycle shenanigans. I'll leave it at this for now. Vision I can live with. So we could just end with Reinforced Body and remake our energy another way, right? Or we could do Defend Zap. Mm. It keeps some energy. Thunder Strike is a way to scale in this fight. I can imagine we do Tempest, Thunder Strike, and just get lethal. Because we still want to get some damage. I mean, Lightning can just do the damage. I think Thunder Strike is okay as an option. So is Multicast. Be genetic now and pass. I think Claw is something we're not going to play around with. I wonder if we're looking like White Noise because we want to find things like... Well, hmm. I was going to say we want to find things like... Echo form, but I wonder. We definitely keep our frost here. I might run into the problem of playing too many cards, so I should be careful. Or we can go all out. Honestly, maybe I should have. Uh, been more mindful. I don't care if I don't get perfect here. It's fine. I don't care if I don't get perfect. I, don't, I really don't care. So I'm already not getting perfect. Okay. Well. Uh, we need to find damage. I should probably go for darkness multicast. I think. Right, let's go for darkness multicast. We also multicast the lightning with, with the crazy amount of... That's also a possibility. More buffers. Is this the turn? No. Go for the multicast here. 
the cast is coming up. Um, if I even hit both the cast, how much has it been doing here? It's doing not enough, unfortunately. Next turn is lethal though, right? Next turn the multicast is lethal. Two forty. We're gonna have. Um, I'm not, that's not guaranteed. But we should definitely do this. Double energy makes multicast a big threat. So now we're looking at 16 times 24. I thought they upgraded the speed. Easy. I could have got perfect, but I didn't. I didn't, okay, this I gotta be careful for, but I still think far and beyond. Uh, Horser's bias just kind of, or Pinesia bias kind of just wins this fight. This is a really bad opening hand. A part of me wants to do Distilled Chaos though. I'm gonna try. <clears throat> Let me use bathroom. Deadlight, I, I'll give me one second. Yeah, the YouTube, I just took a hiatus. I'm gonna be back on it though, man. <clears throat> This might be on YouTube. Who knows? It might be on YouTube. I want to do Distilled Chaos. I'm just scared of the ordering. Because what if I hit D for, like, Biased or Fission? Like, Distilled Chaos... It's chaotic. I, 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 I don't know. I'm worried. I also feel like maybe I'm totally fine in this fight no matter what. Like, Loop is really good. Because if I get... If I play the loop and I, I do have Corsair's bias out, this just kind of blocks for itself. If it's on a frost orb, then that's already doing. This is blocking for, for itself. Of course, we got to get to that part, and the multi hit is still a threat, but we have way, many ways to make block. So I kind of want to play this, but I could hold off on the loop. I, I don't. It's not necessary just yet. Alright, that's decent damage. I'm gonna kinda leave the rest alone. I think Buffer's very good. Tempest is very nice. Buffer is one of those cards in this fight that maybe I shouldn't have taken. So we have all for one. We got our Panacea, but we're not getting the... So we got the Sunder, which is quite nice. Are we doing the block for now? It's like pretty life matter here. We'll save the energy. I mean, this is fine. Six damage is totally fine. Five damage to be exact. Once we kill this man, I think we're happy. I can start recycling good things. All right, so here we can do the biased. We could do Bias and Glacier and start popping off. But he's currently doing 32 damage. So a couple things I want to do. Like I think I want to get Bias, Hologram, Hologram, Sunder, get them out of the way. And now we just focus on blocking. And I think with all that def with all the defrags and the Bias played, there's no way we lose this. Absolutely no. My schedule right now, I'm kind of working on it. Right now, I've, I've been... I streamed earlier today. I, I'm currently working on the schedule. Kill the Sunder guy, right? Okay. So we can get rid of the defense. 
Loop is good, but right now we just need luck. And we'll come back with the Vengeance once we get... T-Frag out and Glacier out. I think we just win. Now's a good time to do loop stuff. By the way, I should have... I should have done double energy stuff. We can still do that later. Got another Seek. I could draw out the Claw because we don't want to see that later on. And Core Charge is great. Alright. I believe we win now. I believe it is over now. Okay, so what we're going to do is... Draw into all of this double energy shenanigans. Let's try to get some decent damage racked up. So we could do... Um, play the rest of our powers. May not be another run after this one because... This is three hours and a half in, and I just beat a heart on the Ironclad. If I beat the heart here, I feel pretty content with like two heart kills. But I do have a watcher video, two watcher videos coming out. Division now is kind of crazy, huh? down. Keep in mind, we always have Recycle, but now we don't have Frost, which is really bad. We don't have Frost. Like, I, I kind of want to create a buffer, honestly. I just want to play all my stuff. I don't think we lose, but there's a way I'm, there's, there's a point where I can get too cocky, right? If I play White Noise, White Noise, Creative Eye, this, there's a chance... I'm going a little crazy. There is that chance. Because we don't have frost right now. Okay. I left myself frostless. I don't know about this one. Okay, multicats. Does that kill him? I, I just want to get it, get him dead. Once he's dead, then I'm happy. How much is Claw doing, actually? If we can kill him with Claw shenanigans, I'm happy. But if otherwise, I'll just multicast. Multicast does the, does do the deed. Can I afford to Glacier then multicast? Let's test. 10 times that is 200. So let's do, let's do, let's do some, some mathematics here. All right? So now we have 8 times 20, which is 160, and that's lethal. And now we just do the rest of the fight with gla another Glacier, play all the powers, GG. We want to get our energy back, though. That's the only problem. So what we want to do is... We want to do... Aggregate might be a way to get money, I mean energy, but only when I reshuffle. So recycle Sunder is a way to make energy back. Okay, hello. Recycle, recycle it again. I would love to recycle it again. Unfortunately, I really want to get blocked. So we're going to do this. With the loop, now we're feeling really good. I think now we just win straight up. So we're stuck with aggregate because right now it's just not the play. And we can take some damage, this is fine. We have, we have a, a shop. There is a shop. Take it, we'll take it. This guy's pretty beefed up though. I'm gonna be risky here. Okay, by risky I meant like I was gonna do something 
that was gonna make me take damage, but the buffer saves me. And now we just get more energy for potentially multicast stuff. So let's see what we get. I'm looking for multicast. He's just not stop multi attacking, huh? Multicast. Was Reborn changed? Not that I know of, no. Oh, that's how we fuck things up. We fuck things up by, uh... Wait. There we go. I'm not gonna use this toe cast otherwise. I mean, I could have saved it, but no one saw a thing. No one saw a thing. All right, the next upgrade we're gonna do is Panacea, right? Because that can be too biased, or it can also stop things from the heart. Multicast is quite nice. I don't think it's necessary. It's not really gonna be that playable in the heart fight. Bias cognition is a very good upgrade. Every bit of focus matters here. Oh, we can't get loop, which is really good, actually. Loop allows me to play cards in this heart fight. Anyways. Anyways. Genetic right now. I don't necessarily like how this is looking. But on the bright side, more claws. I probably shouldn't have. On the bright side, I can get rid of these burns. Why, why are you running away from me? Okay, so we have Seek. And Genetics are already behind us. So first and foremost, we could do... This is a really big turn, because we could Seek out our Seek Plus and then get Master of Strategy. And, and Glacier, like we could, the whole world's at our fingertips right now. So let's, let's just think about the best play and then do it. Because we have the ability to do anything right now. How does it work with the arrow? Okay, so when you're facing them, they do 50% less damage. When they're behind you, they're doing more damage. Sorry, 50% more damage as if attacking from behind. So right now we wanna switch targets and attack the guy on the right. But first, before we do anything, we want to get our Seek Plus, right? And we want to figure out what's the best way to minimize damage. Because we have Bias Plus with, with Panacea. Maybe we want a Fission in the mix. But we have no Orbs with Fission, right? So you probably want a Glacier in the mix. Mm. Glacier and Fission seems really good, but then I can't do Bias. Maybe Bias is not necessary right now? Or maybe we do like Master Strategy, Fission, or Fission Glacier. Fuck, what do I do to ensure that I get full block here? So we have a lot of options. Let's play this first. Now, Bice makes the rest of the fight really easy. But right now we want to block four. I wish I could see the exact number, 50% more damage, right? So probably looking at 28, 21, 21, 28. Like 50 block I need, around 50-ish, which is perfect for genetic that I got rid of. 50-ish block is doable with things like Fission Glacier, but only if you have the focus, right? So I'm thinking this. I'm thinking I want to bring Master of Strategy in the mix. So 61, I was totally wrong about my math. 61 I need to do. Six 
61. Uh, I mean, there's also... I think Master Strategy is really good, but what if I don't draw Glacier, you know? Is Fission the play? Or Master Strategy? Which one's better? Cool Head is not bad either. They're all so good. Glacier gives me guaranteed block, right? So maybe I should just take the guaranteed block. Reinforced Body is also decent block. It's 42 block right now. I should take the Glacier. I really wish I'd played this better, honestly. Because I could have. Because I could have played it better. But no worry, because we are going to get... Oh my goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Oh my goodness gracious. Why couldn't I get that a little bit earlier? <coughs> earlier? Um... damage unfortunately is there a way I could heal heal right can dead bread just give me something for healing no longer can do that right it, it patched it out another hologram is pretty good actually I should have done master strategy there that master strategy is probably the difference between me being at 67 versus me being at like 70 something or 80, not 83, yeah, 83, no, yeah, maybe 83, to be honest. Who knows, it's too late now. Hologram is the play, yeah? All right, let's go. Okay, are we doing master right away and taking some damage? Or are we playing Glacier? We're probably playing Glacier. But master strategy potentially gives me Double energy. Glacier takes away three energy. Still probably playing Glacier, because we already took damage as it is. Loop is fantastic. That's exactly what we needed, because we wanted to get the loop devised. So now we want to just find... To be honest, we'll probably do Fission right away. Because it's extremely important we find Bias Panacea right away. Even though this is like a really good in a pinch. Okay. So things that I don't care about, like the strikes. Defrag I like. Storm is probably not that bad, but it can mess up my, my frost. That's the only thing I don't like. Like I think Storm is pretty good. I don't, I don't want to clog my deck. But I also... want to depend on loop on the frost I'm a little bit worried but if we get things like buffers and all this stuff we're probably fine anyways here's the trade-off comma because you're not dying aka dying aka sleeping like like the old streams now your stream dies for you uh, 
don't think we need storm yet. Okay. More defrag. We could do glacier again. And have full frost. Or we can just do recycle and get double energy with Tempest. What's better, full frost or double energy so we can have more energy to work with? Because we can get rid of Tempest or have full block. I think right now because of the debuffs, you want to make sure you have full block. More energy means I have more potential to draw, which means I can help find bias Panacea quicker. But we're going to go for this. And we're going to call it right there. Heatsinks is very good. It's, you gotta survive these first two turns and then we're good. So this is where Genetic comes in huge. Capacitor is very good. Um, Reboot is also very good. I even like more recycle stuff to be honest. I think we reboot here and see what we get, or we just pass and call it a day. I mean, that hurts, but that's probably the most damage we're taking all fight. This is probably the most damage we're taking all day, all fight. Because we have Art of War proc in here, and we're also getting some Ice Stream energy. Now, Reboot could potentially give me Genetic Algorithm and I can get full block. Or it could be a dud. I think we don't want to redraw because... So this right here is... He can only take 200 damage a turn. So you can't, you can't one-shot him. Only 200 damage a turn. I think it's the only damage we're taking in the fight. Consumer's not bad here. And Thunderstrike was actually a good way to maybe get enough damage for this fight. So we're looking at 25, 30 block. He's doing 45 damage. Are we doing genetic right now? Overclock is just good because we have we get rid of burns. So I think we do this now. We look for uh, biased. And we get deep frag out. And I think we just win. So now we just win. This is where we say, my turn to do some shit to you. So things I want to play are like heat sinks, I want to get it out of the way. And I guess I kind of want to seek out the burns now so I don't draw into them. And I got loop. That's huge. Now I got loop. Alright. And we just should just win here. I should probably pick up Thunderstrike. Claw is not how we're going to do our damage. More defects, sure, why not? Consume is fine. Uh, is consume worth it? We get an extra 8 block, we're getting rid of 13 block. I don't like it. Let's do chaos though. Hey, you got dark. Alright, let's go crazy. I think we like consume here. We could do that all day, any day. We can go for more dark. I do want to keep some of my. Energy. I also want to keep some of my. Is double dark the play? Nah, we don't need that much dark. But one lightning is not bad. Let's not get rid of all our frost. Let's not be crazy here. Even though we have so much block, it's ridiculous. Maybe we do actually. Maybe we do want to go for crazy damage here. More loops. I 
I can do multi guys in the darks here. It's always a thing. So I can multi cast now, which is going to be 160 damage. But then we get the we don't get the frost on loop, and we also get rid of all our energy. So that seems a little crazy. Because we're getting rid of the frost on loop, which is very important. In favor of some 160 damage. I think what's more important here is that we get back to frost on loop. ASAP. We need Frost and Loop ASAP. Fuck. I might have killed myself because I got rid of Frost on Loop. I might have killed myself. I'm such a nobo. I might have killed myself. I really want to draw into these cards. Oh, I think I killed myself. Oh, we can multicast Frost. <laughs> Holy shit. I can't believe we have to multicast Frost just to survive here. It works out. Someone's gonna unironically win this for us. Doesn't Dark just win now if I do that? Now I can now I can do this. Because Dark just wins. I mean, am I doing the same mistake of getting rid of my thing? But Dark just wins now, right? Now this is fine. my run to lose like if I were to lose it would be embarrassing I almost messed up because I got rid of my frost on loop so that's just a word of advice uh, when you have a really good deck and you want to prevent beat of death just don't get rid of the loop from the you know that was a little bit crazy if I would make it do anything differently I would just keep the frost on loop and still look for like multicast stuff but